Okay, so in today's Retro Bat setup, guys, we are taking a good look at Visual Pinball. So this one's been requested over and over and over again. So I've taken some time to investigate how to set this one up, and I've got it set up for you. So in this setup guide, I'm going to be showing you which type of file extensions we need, including which folders we need. Uh, Visual Pinball itself is considered a very complex system to set up in Retro Bat. But hopefully by the end of this setup, guys, we're going to get you up and running playing some really cool tables such as this one I'm playing just here. So check this one out. Okay, before I start today's setup guide then for a retro bat and virtual pinball, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like, it really helps my channel out a lot, plus it gets you up to date retro emulation content as I release it, which is pretty much every day. So we're talking about pinball through retro bat and bear in mind this one's going to be a complex system to operate in comparison to something like future pinball or f pinball which i covered several months back now so then uh, there's a few different files that we need for particular pinball machines or just tables in retrobat so we got .vpx which is your table files uh, we've also got another file extension uh, or files uh, these are called direct b2s and that's for your back glass now i'm not going to be using back glass today because i can't find any of these files uh, another file we got a rather folder is going to be titled ultra dmd in that short dot matrix display for your pinball machines or your tables uh, we also got ROM files. Now, because we're going to be running this pinball simulation through MAME, MAME requires ROM files, and most .vpx tables requires ROMs. So a little bit like MAME games, arcade games, uh, we'll have the game itself, plus we need a ROM in some cases to go with it. But I'm going to show you how to distinguish which ROM files you need to go with the table files. And in some cases, we also need music files. So like I just said, it's a fairly complex system, but I'm gonna show you the best of my ability how to get up and running with this. So first of all, what we're gonna do is go to the RetroBat shortcut, open file location. And if we go to Bat GUI and system list, just pull down system at the top and if you don't see this follow my fully comprehensive setup guide for retrobat you're likely missing a couple of installation files when you set up your retrobat system so under here we're looking for v pinball and it will tell us very clearly just here under file extensions that our tables need to be in dot vpx and they work best and under course we don't have any retro watch course for this it is main but we're going to download that itself through retro bat so if we close out of here and out again the best thing to do first then is just go down into your roms folder and just search for v pinball which is obviously going to be near the bottom here it is now i've got a pack of these for my setup guide and in the ROMs v pinball folder, what we're going to be doing here is dropping in the DMD folders that I just explained. And in your DMD folders, you're going to find .gifs pretty much. They're all image files and obviously .gifs are kind of moving animation files. And in the ROMs folder, you're also going to want to put in your tables themselves, which is, of course, the .vpx files. So I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to just drop all of these. So the DMD folders and the .vpx files, which is the tables inside of that ROMs v pinball folder. So just let them copy in. And what I'm going to do for now is actually open up RetroBat because we need to install the emulator, which is main. So let's open up RetroBat.
Okay, so we're inside Retro Bat and we can now see Visual Pinball. So if we open up Visual Pinball, also going to see my games or my tables. So I'm going to open up, say, Golden Eye, which is a classic Pierce Brosnan James Bond film. I actually seen that one at cinema back in the day. <laughs> and we're going to find the emulator of V Pinball is not installed. Install it now. Just press yes. Let this do a spin, but we're not quite finished yet. We still need to do some things outside of Retro Bat. So click OK on this and OK again. And it's also going to tell you game ROMs for GoldenEye invalid, but I'm going to show you how to get around this. Okay. Now you're going to find it's going to boot up, but we're going to do a fairly proper job of doing this. So I'm going to just exit out of V Pinball by pressing my hotkey or just pressing escape. And I'm going to go to main menu. Now, if we come out of the ROMs V Pinball folder inside of the RetroBat directory, and again, we're going to go to emulators folder. And if we just drop this down until we find V Pinball, just a minute ago, this would have been empty, but because we just downloaded and installed this, we're going to find it's got contents in here. Right then, so the first thing we need to do is just go to V Pinball Main, and in here, I'm going to create a new folder. So right click, and I'm going to create new folder, and I'm going to call this folder ROMs. Now, just a second ago, Gould and I was asking for a ROM file and like i was saying a lot of main games requires roms to go with the actual game itself so in my roms folder just here i've got all the rom files to go alongside the vpx games and if i just search down i'm going to find the particular rom for that golden eye game and it's listed here somewhere and there it is so this is the entirety of those rom files and these are in .zip file extension which is fine so what I'm going to do is just copy all of those into that vpin main roms folder okay so once they've been copied out we're going to come back out and we got a folder here called music now there's a lot of pinball tables which require music files for example, we got a Queen pinball machine, so that requires music. We've also got an ACDC uh, pinball table, so again, that's going to need music. So I've got another pack here, which goes with what I've already put into RetroBat, and I'm going to just copy all of these files into that V Pinball music folder. So generally, this is what it's going to look like. So we got a lot of loose.mp3s, which is obviously music files, but we've also got five folders at the top. Like I said a minute ago, we got a queen pinball table somewhere in here. If we go inside a queen, we got a few queen songs to go with that pinball machine. I'm not going to play them because of copyright, but we got all the best of queen just there pretty much. So whatever. So that's it for this part. Now, what I'm going to do in this setup guide is ignore using back glass. And the reason being is that back glass requires particular files to be used known as direct B2S. But if you don't want to use these like myself, then you can disable this in RetroBat. If you do want to use these, then those direct B2S files are going to go inside with your ROMs. Let me just show you what I mean. If we go into ROMs again and go down to V Pinball, if you want to use Backglass, then your file names need to be identical to the table names themselves. And they're obviously going to be ending with the file extension, which is .direct E2S. So that's everything for this for now. So I'm going to open up RetroBat again. And it's back in the visual pinball. 
And what I'm going to do is go to view options by press and select advanced system options. Now by default, enable back glass is going to be put to auto, but like I said, I can't use this because I don't have those dot direct B2S files, which is going to pretty much enable back glass. So I believe. So what I'm going to do then is just go to enable back glass and I'm going to put this one to no. And that's it. So we're pretty much good to go here. So to open up one of the tables, I'm just going to press So I'm not sure if Gordon I needs music to go with it. I've never played this game before, but personally I was assuming uh, the Tina Turner Gordon I song was going to be in there somewhere, but it's not. Uh, so I've personally got a lot of tables just here. I'm going to play ACDC table. So yeah, I'm not too great at pinball machines, but as we can see, the quality of these tables are certainly much better than the quality, uh, which I did the setup guide on for future pinball. Uh, we've also got classics here in, with this setup I've got, and we've got a Freddy Krueger game somewhere, which I'm quite eager to take a look at. So Freddy and Nightmare on Elm Street 1994, and I'm pretty sure 1994 brought us Wes Craven's New Nightmare. cool that one so we got three balls going at once so in terms of controlling uh the tables what i'm doing is pressing my left analog to tilt the table if the ball gets stuck uh pressing select on my controller to insert coin and pressing start to start the game and then my a button uh pushes the ball or shoots the ball up onto the table and uh finally i'm going to check out robocop now if anyone knows me You'll know that Robocop is one of my favorite films. I love Robocop, so let's check this out. Robocop. So quite a basic table. I'm guessing this one's a very old, uh, probably 1980s table.
yeah, a little bit boring. So let's uh, take a look at scraping some artwork for this collection. So main menu, scraper, and I'm gonna put in my scraper settings. While this is scraping, I'm gonna quickly show you how to get your ROM files. So like I've been saying, in particular tables or .vpx files, which are tables, requires the accompanying ROM files. So in order to narrow this down so you know exactly what to look for, if I just open this up as this is scraping, uh, what I'm gonna do is go into my Retrobat directory. And from here, if I go into emulators again, and I go to the V Pinball. In here, I'm going to go to V Pin Main. And if I scroll down, I'll find Pin Main 32. If I open this up, I just expand this. Now, here's all the games, or rather, pinball tables. And next to it, you're going to find Directory. And it's under Directory, that's your ROM files you need. Okay, so scraping has finally been finished. So obviously stay in main menu, game settings, update game lists, and yes. So obviously some of the artwork in preview videos couldn't be scraped, but we got a good majority here. And just a second ago, I did notice the X-Files, and I love the X-Files, long live the X-Files. Oh. And we also got Tales from the Crypt, which again, I'm also a big fan of. <laughs> so here's the X-Files, oh, and we also got Simpsons here. And I am, I'm gonna just test out the X-Files just, uh, just for testing purposes, of course. So that's it for today's visual pinball setup guide with Retrobat. Like I've been saying, it is a fairly complex system to get up together. Uh, if you're planning on using Backglass, then just remember you will need .direct B2S files, which will go into your Retrobat ROMs and vpinball folder, and they need to be named exactly how the .vpx files are named. So if you liked today's video, hit the notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content that I upload every day. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.